Okay, this is a short video to show you how easy it is to set up a Little Acorn 5000 series trail camera. Um, the model I'm going to use to show you is a 5210A, but the instructions apply to the 5310A and the 5610A cameras as well. They've all got pretty much the same design and build, so everything that you hear from me here will apply for those models as well. Okay, first thing to uh, think about is with when you buy one of these cameras from uh, Pack Attack, you'll receive our own instruction guides with the cameras. We write these ourselves so that you don't have to worry about deciphering or translating manufacturer's instruction manuals. Everything's laid out here nice and clearly, step-by-step uh, -step instructions. Okay, with any trail camera, um, the most important thing is that you use good quality and the right batteries. Now we use the Panasonic Eneloop Pro 2500 milliamp rechargeable batteries. The best, these are the best rechargeable batteries out there for use with trail cameras. Um, we also use Energizer Ultimate Lithium. Now these batteries will last longer in your tra trail camera than any other battery we've ever tested. So they're fantastic batteries but they're not rechargeable. So although they're cheaper than rechargeables, you will have to replace them when they run out of power. Okay, so back to the camera then. The 5000 series models are all two-part cameras. So that means you've got a main camera body and you've got a backpack which will hold extra batteries if you want to use them. Um, so first thing to do when you're setting up is to separate the two parts. Um, so hold the camera together in one hand, release the clasp, swap hands and release the other clasp, nice and easy and then the camera pulls apart like, like that. The reason we hold the camera together with one hand while releasing the clasp for the other is because when you, take the, when you release the first clasp you're putting more pressure on the other one so they're more, li more likely to pop and break if you do that. They probably won't anyway, but it's worth doing it that way to, to keep the camera safe and to keep it lasting for longer. Okay, so now we've got the main camera body here. You release the bottom hatch there. In here, if you can see, you've got the SD card slot at the top there. You've got your on, off and test switch. You've got your primary battery slot, so four batteries always go in there. Whether you're using the batteries in the backpack or not, you always have to fill this, this compartment here with batteries. Um, over here you've got a 6-volt uh, mains socket, so if you want to, you can run the battery off mains power and not use batteries at all. Obviously then you've got a cable running for it, from it to a mains outlet somewhere, so entirely up to you. You've also got a USB output um, and a, a phono video output as well. So if you want to connect to a TV, it's a bit of a long one. We a lot, bit of a long-winded way of playing back footage that you've recorded, but you can do that if you want to. Okay, the on-off test switch, obviously off, means you're off. Camera's off, not working. Put it into test mode whenever you want to set the camera up. When you put it in test mode, your LCD screen comes on. So that's when you can use the menu, change settings, etc. You can play back on the camera's built-in screen as well if you want to. Um, on mode is when you want the camera to be operational. So you've done your settings, you put it in place somewhere, you have it in on mode, it will record as per your settings whenever motion or heat change is detected. Um, when you have it in on mode, we get asked this a lot, people saying I'll put, it, I'll put the camera on, nothing's happening. When you put the camera into on mode, nothing outwardly will happen. You won't see any lights flashing, there's no noises. That's what you want from a trail camera really. Um, so on mode, when it's, once the camera's been put into on mode, you're ready to go, but don't expect to hear or see anything from the camera. It's just doing its thing. Okay, so now quickly to set up, show you how quick this part can be. So you've got your camera ready. Your four batteries go in the primary battery slots. Okay, on the battery hatch, it tells you the uh, positive or negative. So this side is positive facing up. So a couple of batteries in there. The other side is negative, so negative facing up couple in that side as well. Close the hatch, put your SD card in, you'll hear it click when it goes in. There you go. 
and move the switch, which is currently in the off position, of course, move that across to test. You'll then see the screen come on and you are now ready to set your camera up. So you can push the menu button, you can scroll up and down the menu, you can change the settings. For instance, if I want to change it from the default camera mode, which means it only takes pictures, to, for instance, uh, camera and video mode, which will take a picture first and then record a video clip. So I'll change it with the left and right arrows, press the OK button to save the change, and that's done. So in the instruction sheets that we send out, like I mentioned earlier, all of these menu options are explained. So you don't have to worry about that right now. I'm just giving you a brief and quick setup uh, guide. Okay, so it's come out of the menu. You press menu, menu button again once you've finished doing all your settings. Then you flip the camera into the on position, which is the central position of the three on the on, on off and test switch. So it's now in on position. You put your backpack back on. You'll see a red light flashing on the front. You might not see it there in the video for about five seconds. Once that stops flashing, your camera is ready to record and it'll start recording whenever there is a new heat signature within the camera's sensor range. Okay, that, that's it, simple as that. So I set that up probably in 10, 15 seconds. Very nice and simple. Okay, thanks very much for watching.